These motivation minutes are designed to reinvigorate who you are and what you do. Use these in the morning to start off strong throughout your day as a pick-me-up or whenever you need a little lift. All right, let's fucking go. Go. Now let me ask you something. Do you wish the world around you was calmer, more peaceful, more in your control? Maybe these thoughts are kind of running thoughts that you always seem to have. You think things like, if I had more time to relax, I would feel better. If I had time to have more fun, I would feel happier. If I had more time to work on my passions and pursue fun projects, I would feel more fulfilled. Do any of these thoughts sound familiar to you? If they do, the good news is that you are now aware of what you're actually saying to yourself in your daily life and you can change it. Because if you're constantly telling yourself that you don't have the time to feel a certain way or do certain things, then you are never going to find the time to feel that way. And that's huge. See the difference there, right? If you're telling yourself something, that's what you're going to be stuck in. Telling yourself that you don't have time to relax, you don't have time to have fun, or you don't have time to work on your passions will never give you more time for those things. You will always be stuck in the box that you're creating for yourself. And in this case, that box that you're creating for yourself, when you think about, you know, what you want to do with your time this way, is that you will have no time. Really hear that for a second. The box that you're creating for yourself is that you will have no time for the things that bring you joy. Now, just saying that sentence makes me feel stressed out and super overwhelmed. And I'm sure it makes you feel a little stressed out and overwhelmed too. It makes me feel like I will never be able to get everything done that I need or want to get done. And you probably feel the same way if you're kind of stuck in this, if you wish you had more calm and peace and control in your life. So if you continuously feel stressed and overwhelmed, have you ever taken a second to think about how you're framing what time means in your life? Now, here's the comparison that I want you to think about. Do you think about the time that you have and how much you have to do, like on your to-do list or in your day, with abundant thoughts and with joy and you are excited to have the time to complete these things? Or do you kind of think about it more as a scarce resource? Or do you think about time as a scarce resource that you wish you could get more of? You wish you could get your hands on just a little more time. That would make your life so much better. Do you see the difference between those two mindsets? Between feeling like you have enough time and feeling excited to complete the things with the time that you have or feeling like you never are going to have enough time and you just wish you could get your hands on more of something, I'm sure you can feel the difference between those two. I can feel the difference. And when you sit in that scarcity of time, if this is what you're doing, you end up feeling really frustrated and stressed and overwhelmed. This too is a trickle down effect. When you feel all those negative feelings about the things that you have to get done every day, you end up feeling like you're living in chaos. So if you are the person who has been living in chaos, I want you to hear this and you're listening to this so you're already on the right path, but this is the week that we can switch that for you, right? This is the week that we can switch you constantly living in chaos that feels frustrating and stressful and overwhelming. So if I just said that and a big light bulb went off in your head and you were like, yes, I feel like I'm living in chaos constantly. Now is your time to fix it. Now you're not alone in this. I have felt like this before and there are some tricks and some little resources that I've used throughout my day so that I don't feel like this. So to do this, there are two things that I find helpful when I start to feel like time is a scarce resource. The first thing is notice and change what I'm thinking about all the things that I need to get done. And two is blocking out time in my day for things that I actually enjoy. So let's talk about these a little bit so you understand how I approach both. And then you can use these approaches to this week to start to feel, you know, less chaotic in your life. 
So the first thing is when I notice that I'm feeling like time is kind of a scarce resource and I I need more time and I feel like I'm not going to get all my things done, right? What I do in those moments is change what I'm thinking. So this is a really active process that you have to do throughout the day. So, you know, when I sit down in the morning, I'm like, oh, I'm so excited to show up to all these meetings. I'm so happy that I have the time to show up to these meetings. And then if I have a lot of projects on my plate for the day or I have a lot of calls or people are texting me and messaging me and all these things and that can just start to feel overwhelming, right? I take a step back and say, it's easy to do these things, right? It's easy for me to respond to these emails. It's easy for me to get this project done. I'm going to get this done so quickly and then I'm going to move on to the next thing. That is a shift in itself of just showing up in that kind of positive mindset but the more you can do it throughout your day of saying, oh, I'm this is easy, I'm gonna get this done, not only do you approach it that way too, of you start to think, oh, maybe this will be easy. And then you get things done quickly and you're like, oh, that wasn't so bad. But you also change it for yourself the next time you go to do something that you're worried you won't have enough time for or you feel like you're starting to get overwhelmed with everything on your plate, right? You'll start to shift what you think there. So Show up in a different way for your projects and for your meetings or whatever is on your plate. Start thinking like, I'm so excited and happy that I get to do this or this is going to be quick and easy and I'm going to enjoy the process. Just putting yourself in that mindset is a huge game changer. So try that this week for feeling a little less overwhelmed in your daily life. And then the second thing is to block out time for the things that you enjoy. So if you feel already like you don't have enough time and you you know automatically go through life of thinking, oh, I wish I had more time to do this fun thing or I wish I had more time to relax or I wish I had more time to do, you know, pursue my passions and do projects that I really like, you have to block out that time for you to do those things. Otherwise, you never will because you're already telling yourself that you don't have the time for it. So you have to prove to yourself that you do have some time in your day for these things, to feel these happy things, right? And experience that in your life. So this doesn't have to be an eight hour block of time that you take out of your day. This could be 15 minutes of doing something that you enjoy. For me, I really like going on walks in the middle of my day, so I will block out time to go outside, go on, you know, a 20-minute walk, and come back and then get back to work. It just really helps me balance my day. Being out in nature makes me feel super happy. I get to move my body, which helps with my energy, but it's just blocking out that time is super important for me to do that. If I don't block out the time, I will work straight through the day and it'll be like nine o'clock at night and I'll be like, what the heck? I didn't even go on my walk, right? So you have to be intentional about actually blocking out that time. Okay, so those are my two tactics that I want you guys to go out and use this week if this is how you're feeling in your days. And I want you to remember too, every person around you has felt like they don't have enough time at some point in their life. The difference between the people who overcome this and the people who let their day control them is actually taking the steps to make the change. And now you have two things that you can do to make that change in your life. So let this week be the first week that you actually go out and do something different so that you feel like you have more control over your time and over your day. So try my two tips and see if that works for you. If you feel like another tactic will help you more, try that until you find what works. I'm here to give you an idea of the path that you should go on, but you are the person who truly knows what works for you. So try a lot of different strategies until you find what works. And once you find what works, you will start to feel like you have some control over your day and you'll have time to get all the things done that you need to get done. Okay, so let's go out there and fucking get some shit done this week, guys. Let's go. Let's go.